Now, some of you may think, what an embarrassing thing to admit to, you were a rollerblader. And, yeah, it was pretty much always the most difficult thing to explain to anybody, and it still is very difficult to explain to somebody. Because when you say rollerblader, the first image that pops into pretty much everybody's head is the short short wearing, neon colors, elbow pads and knee pads, helmet, all that stuff just going down Venice Beach. Just very much not cool, stuck in the 90s, and never escaping. So most of us rollerbladers have come up with a lot of different terms to identify ourselves by. The community has never really figured out a term that identifies us that we kind of all agree on. Uh, some people call themselves uh, inline skaters, some of them uh, just skaters. Some people call themselves freestyle rollers. And while I think there's some merit to the freestyle rolling name, it just doesn't sound good. It sounds kind of cheesy to me. And the last one that we've sort of gone by has been aggressive rollerbladers, which I don't know what that necessarily came from. Um, maybe the, the desire to be punk rock in the 90s to d differentiate ourselves from that recreational oh pad wearing oh rollerblader. Whatever it is, if you go onto a website to buy rollerblades that are made for stunts, made for grinds, they're probably going to be titled aggressive rollerblades. So that's sort of what I've always called myself has been an aggressive rollerblader. And it just means a rollerblader that does stunts. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs>